All right, so my name's Cole, and uh, I'm like a vegan YouTuber. Uh, it's my friend Dan. We uh, we do like street interviews and debates, asking people about how they feel about animals and animal agriculture and stuff like that. Do you want to introduce yourself to the camera, or just kind of remain anonymous? Uh, my name is Mark. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like animals. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So, Mark, do you do you have any pets or anything like that? I used to have a dog. I had a few dogs, you know what I'm saying? They like family. Okay, okay. Yeah, cool. What kind were they? Uh, one was a German Shepherd, and other, the other two were pit bulls. Oh, that's cool. I, I adopted a pit bull very briefly. They're, they're wonderful dogs. I, I like pits a lot. Um, okay. So moving on to the next question, uh, do you know what veganism is? Veganism, I know it's like you don't like eat any animal products or something. Right, like right. Would you say that veganism is a diet or that it's an ethical philosophy? That's a tough one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I would say it's probably a bit of both. Yeah. Veganism is actually an ethical philosophy rather than a diet, although following a plant-based diet is a large part of veganism. Yeah. Um, there's uh, this uh, organization called the Vegan Society, and according to the Vegan Society, uh, veganism is seeking to exclude harm to animals as far as possible and practicable. So for... For most people, that means not consuming any meat, dairy, eggs, milk, you know, fish, things like that. Which it seems like we're giving up a lot, but it's really not. Um, you know, everything that has animal products in it has a vegan alternative. Um, have you tried any plant-based foods or like mock meats or anything like that? Yeah, I tried the Impossible Burger. Yeah. What do you think? You can be honest. It wasn't that good. I'm yeah. <laughs> it wasn't that good. Yeah. Some people, some people like them. I like the Impossible Whopper, um, and then other people don't. You know, um, if you don't like that, you you might like black bean burgers, and things like that. It has more distinct flavor. Um, but yeah, so. I'm out here today for the animals, like first and foremost. I, I think that the oppression that animals face is the worst on the planet, you know, in terms of scale, just not other things because there are individuals from, you know, different groups that face more oppression than individuals from other groups. And, you know, human suffering is probably more important than an animal suffering. 90 90 percent of cases right. if it was like hitler or like putin or something in a burning building i don't really give a about them like i would i would rescue the dog but you know yeah. everyday people on the street like you i would i would probably save you over a, a puppy yeah, I hope so. <laughs> so in the line of this questioning which probably took up too much time do you think it's necessary for survival to uh consume animal products for survival and good health um, to survive, I think like back in the day, like as cavemen, like they they, they hunted for their food. You know what I'm saying? Are Are you a caveman? Nah, I'm not. A caveman. <laughs> you don't look like a caveman. Nah, yeah, nah. I look more like a caveman than you do. Would you agree with that? <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's all good. Um. Okay, so. Yeah, the, the good thing about uh, being vegan is the American Dietetic Association and all over all other nutritional associations across the world have said that um, a vegan diet is appropriate for all stages of life, including pregnancy and old age. And um, as a matter of fact, they've done some studies on people that go vegan and uh, people that go vegan tend to live longer as a population I, I probably don't fit into that because i eat a lot of you know impossible whoppers and <laughs> vegan ice cream and uh french fries you know spaghetti but in general people who go vegan um are healthier so. okay, makes sense. yeah 
So getting getting back to the animals, have you have you ever seen footage of like a slaughterhouse or, you know, like a dairy farm or anything like that? I think one time back in high school, like I seen a little yeah. short. Yeah. Short. What was that like? It was terrible. It's yeah. horrible. Yeah. What would you think if they put a dog in that situation? Oh man, nah. Okay. It, nah. So so why is it okay to? To slit the throat of a pig, but not a dog. What's uh, I don't know. I can tell you to be honest. Yeah. yeah. It seems like there isn't a good reason to to treat one animal a certain way and then just treat another animal a different way, just arbitrarily, right? Yeah, for sure. Okay, cool, cool. Well, I think that'll conclude the interview. We've got some resources for you.